Hi everyone. Um, so today I thought I would cover something other than a single board computer. Um, I want to talk about the Chewy Mini Book. Okay, let's get started. I was one of the original backers of the Chewy Mini Book on Indiegogo uh, before it was released. Um, I usually stay away from such campaigns uh, due to the risk of not getting your product at all. Uh, but given uh, Chewy's history, I was pretty comfortable um, backing them. They basically use Indiegogo as a marketing platform uh, rather than uh, trying to raise funds. Um, they did have a couple of delays, but all of them got resolved uh, just as I expected. Um, so I've had this computer for several months now, uh, so it's not, you know, uh, brand new. Um, the Minibook belongs to a generation of uh, mini laptops, uh, which is uh, quite a step up from the underpowered netbooks we had a while back. And uh, by the way, uh, what I would consider the original mini laptop uh, was released back in 2004 uh, by the company called OQO. Um, it was really cool, ran a full version of Windows, but uh, way, way ahead of its time. Um, the price for this laptop varies between $450 to $650, depending on the configuration and where you're buying it from. Um, it seems like the price is um, just all over the place. Um, anyway, uh, the base configuration of this uh, laptop was not very exciting to me, with an Intel Celeron N4100 and 8 gigs of RAM. Um, so I went for a higher-end model. Uh, my Minibook has an M3 CPU uh, with 16 gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of eMMC storage, and a 512 gig M.2 SSD. Uh, one thing to note, the SSD is not an NVMe drive. I moved the operating system from the eMMC to the SSD, which is uh, significantly faster. Um, let me tell you a little bit more about the specs now. Uh, the Minibook has a built-in uh, fingerprint reader um, on the uh, power button. Um, the screen flips over 360 degrees um, to create a tablet. It uses uh, USB-C for power, um, has a mini HDMI port, um, has a couple USB ports. Uh, one of them is uh, USB 3 um, and the other one is uh, USB 2. Has a micro SD slot right here as well. Has a headphone jack. Um, this is the expansion slot for storage. This is the M.2 uh, SSD expansion slot and that's the one I already have in there. So yeah, um, the build quality is uh, pretty good, uh, not too shabby. Um, I like how it feels, it uh, feels very solid. Um, also has a two megapixel camera for your uh, video calls. Some of these uh, uh, mini laptops uh, don't have a camera and this one does. Uh, it, it was part of the reason why I bought the Chewy Minibook actually. The speakers are not great. I would say they're so-so, but you know, I didn't expect anything better. I was a little bit anxious to see how the Minibook would perform, uh, but it did not disappoint me at all. If you're using Microsoft Office uh, writing code and browsing the web, um, all applications should run uh, well enough. Um, I even hooked, hooked it up to a 4K monitor and worked just fine. I haven't tried gaming on it, uh, but that's not what I would use this machine for. I expect all the titles to run fine on um, probably medium settings, uh, but not the uh, latest games. So the biggest issue on this machine is the fan noise. Uh, it uses active cooling um, and uh, Chewy even released a firmware update to dial down the noise so it doesn't run as often, uh, but it's still pretty loud when you're running um, CPU intensive uh, tasks. They came up with an interesting solution for the touchpad. Um, as you can see, there's no large touchpad that you can uh, find on other laptops. Um, this one has the small optical pad. Uh, you move your, move your finger on it and the mouse cursor uh, moves um, and it has the left and the right click uh, buttons uh, right here so let me show you how the um, office uh, performs on this machine um, I've downloaded a couple files um, to show you so as you can see pretty responsive I mean the you know, it's, um, I'm using touch screen to scroll. So yeah, pretty good.
responds fast enough, so I don't foresee you having any issues if you're doing it some sort of uh, work in Excel. So now let's run a Word file. Pretty fast and uh, responsive. You can you can do um, whatever you would normally do on a larger uh, laptop. Um, uh, not that you would want to look at this um, all day long, uh, but you could work on uh, presentation or whatever work you need to do in a pinch, uh, maybe for a few hours, but not the not the full day. So as you can see, Excel and Word are pretty fast. I don't think something like uh, Adobe Premiere would run uh, smoothly though. Uh, which brings me to another point. Um, while this computer can do most of the stuff a bigger laptop can, um, there are compromises that uh, you have to make uh, just due to its size and uh, um, there's no way around it right now. Um, it won't run more power hungry apps or at least uh, won't run them well. Um, the keyboard is uh, uh, cramped and uh, some of the key placement is not conventional and uh, just takes time getting used to. So I don't know if you'd, you know, you'd want to spend time on it. Um, and um, as I mentioned, instead of a touchpad, um, you have this small optical pad that you swipe your fingers on uh, to move the cursor and you have these uh, two buttons for um, left and right click. Um, so this setup works okay, but it's not a touchpad. Um, you could use a mouse, so that's what I do. So. Um, what would you use it for? Um, my ideal use case is uh, throwing it in a bag and uh, hooking it up to an external monitor and a keyboard. Um, the mini book could fit in a large pocket, um, okay, like a very large pocket, um, and I don't have to bring a backpack with me. Um, I don't think it's reasonable to expect uh, to spend a whole day looking at this uh, tiny screen. I don't care how good your eyesight is. Um, the question then might come up, uh, why not just use something like an iPad, uh, which I do have, I'm not going to say anything new here, and you can hate on me, but iPads are best used for uh, content consumption rather than content creation. Um, maybe the only exception is uh, doing drawings or um, something like that. Um, now, I'm not saying you cannot create content on the iPad, and um, by the way, I love my iPad, uh, but I do prefer processing videos, writing emails, creating presentations, and uh, just uh, managing projects on a desktop OS. I tried using a Bluetooth keyboard uh, with my iPad, it's just uh, suboptimal uh, for my tasks. So it's not my primary work device. Um, just like a Windows 10 tablet mode is quite inferior uh, to the iPad OS. Um, so this mini book is a, uh, is a good compromise uh, for when I want to travel light and I want to take all of my uh, applications with me, um, as this thing weighs uh, less than 1.5 pounds. Uh, one piece of advice, if you're thinking of getting one, uh, first decide uh, what you're going to use it for and don't just get it uh, because you are excited and you know you can buy this uh, tiny cool computer uh, might buy stuff that way sometimes <laughs> anyway um so this is it you guys um please let me know what you think uh, in the comments below um do you have one already um i'd be very interested to uh, hear what you are using yours for uh please like this video if you found it helpful and uh, subscribe to my channel i'd really appreciate it and uh, more cool stuff is coming soon um thank you very much for watching